everyone, my name is Laura Lee and I am currently living in Maine with my fiance. Um, we're looking to move to Braden, Florida in the next month or two. Um, due to our chronic pains, I have fibromyalgia and I also have rheumatoid arthritis in my left knee. Um, I also have psoriac, psoriac arthritis and I have a lot of joint pain and the winters in Maine are very brutal on our, my body and my fiance's too. Um, he fell 15 feet back in 2010 from a roof and broke the C7 vertebrae in his back, his wrist and foot places, and he hurt his back as well. Um, so this is why we need to move to Florida. This is, We picked Bradenton because I know some people from there. I have people that live in this, that I'm friends with too, that live in, live in the surrounding areas. Um, I have an aunt and a um, cousin who lives in Virginia, which is not too far from there either, so I'll be close to them as well. Um, what else am I going to say? Um, I have, I've lived in Bradenton for a long time, even before I met, had a friend there. Um, my dad talked, to, my real dad talked about it a lot. So, and I think he spent some time there for a while too, um, back in years ago. Um, not only that, we don't have any, you know, reason to stay here in Maine anymore on top of that. Um, my parents are gone and his parents are gone and I have my mother left, but she's severe dementia and she doesn't know who I am. So with that said, we, we need to move on and to be happy in a different place. Um, and I fell in love with Bradenton for several reasons and I just need to, we need to be where it's warm because the place of the winters are too brutal on our joints, too brutal on our get seasonal depression because of it too um it's just too much for us and we're getting you know i'm 55 and he's going on 64 so we got to start enjoying the older years and not be doing it miserably and in pain and suffering all the time so um i'm already in a lot of pain and it's just you know at 40 something degrees i'm already in pain and, and so is he so we're going to make the move, and I'm looking to, you know, maybe make some friends down there, too. Like, I mean, I got a couple of friends in the area. I got one friend in Bradenton itself, and I'd like to make some new friends down there as well um, before we get down there. Um, I've done a lot of research. I've done a lot of research on everything. I know it has its pros and it has its cons. I'm already aware of that, so don't come at me with anything that's trying to scare me off because I've already made up my mind that's where we want to go. Um... I lived in New England all my life. I lived in New Hampshire. I was born and raised in New Hampshire. Moved to Maine. Um, back and forth between New Hampshire and Maine for several years. My fiance is originally from Maine. So he's never been out of, you know, he's never been out of Maine. Except for one time he went to Washington with some friends. But he's never really lived outside. He's never lived out. I've lived in Maine. I've lived in New Hampshire. And I've been to North Carolina many, many times. Growing, you know, when I was younger, because my nana was from Pembroke, North Carolina, and my grandfather was from New Hampshire, and he was in the service, and he met my Nana, and they moved to New Hampshire until they get to, they get to the retiring age, and then they moved back to North Carolina, and I no longer have them either, so, I, or I would go to, I'd move to North Carolina, so, but I'm more, I'm more into moving to Florida, because I want to, you know, I want to be able to walk the beaches with my, with my fiance, and just to enjoy the sunshine state, you know, I've always wanted to go to Florida since I was a little girl, and now I'm going to make my dream. That's all. That's going to be checked off my bucket list of going in there. So like I was saying, I'd like to make some, you know, some friends. Um, age is not a problem. Um, you know, age is just a number. So younger or older, our age, you know, all we like making friends with all ages. So I have friends that are younger than me and friends that are older than me and in between same age. So it doesn't matter. But I just want to hop on here because I've been holding this back for a while. And i just been wanting to let everybody know. We were supposed to have been gone over a year, over last year. But things happened. You know, my real dad passed away. Then my stepdad passed away. Then my mother got dementia. And my fiance's mother passing away. And then, the, then sibling rivalry because of, you know, the, the state and everything. And it's just been a mess. Now that things are getting behind us, we can move on and do our thing and enjoy our older years i know we're still young yet well i am anyways <laughs> i'm just kidding but um i just i tease them about that but we're, we're looking forward to this and 
I, you know, I just can't handle the winters here tomorrow. It's just too much. And I'm, like I said, I'm already in pain now and it's not even full winter yet here. So, um, it's going to be a long trip. It's going to take us about 24 hours, a little, maybe a little more, but you know, it's going to be straight driving, but we can do it. Not straight driving. We're going we're gonna to stay over, you know, do half the drive and then take a break and then do the other half a drive. So it's going to be worth it guys in the end. And yeah, so just want to put that out there. Hope I can make some friends. Yeah, we can make some friends down there and um, all that good stuff. So, um, I I work from home anyhow. We're disabled, both disabled, and um, I work from home. I am I have several sources of income um, coming in right now because I do different, I do work from home from different companies. So, <clears throat> and I've been doing it for a long time. And he he just a tinkerer. He just putters around and does things, build you know, likes building things, and he tinkers and putters and works on small engines and stuff like that when he can. So with that said, guys, reach out to me if you're you know want to get to know us and um, if you have anything. I don't want to hear any negative things about because I already like I said I know the pros and cons of Bradenton. I know the things that are there and things that are not there. So if you'd like to share something that you love about Bradenton, something that really attracts you to Bradenton and everything. And if you are, if you live in Bradenton now and you never, you, that's, you know, you never, you didn't live there all your life and you moved there as well, let us know too. Um, so yeah, share with us, share with us, share with us, you know, let's make some friendships and everything. And if you want, you know, my social media, I can get you sent over there too with that. But he doesn't have, he doesn't like being on camera and be on social media, but I can connect for, for both of us. Oh, Furnace just came on, which I don't like the sound of. <laughs> he scared me. But anyways, guys, reach out to me. We like to make friends. And who, if you're in Bradenton, I hope we see each other sometime soon. Maybe we'll bump into each other. You never know. But till then, have a stay blessed, guys. And you don't have to tell you to stay warm, but I don't have to stay warm. It's cold. But <laughs> I can't wait to get there. You know, I don't like being all like, I'm a, I'm a summer baby, so I don't like being all like bundled up and heavy clothing when i was a kid I'm, i know i'm rambling on again when i was a kid you couldn't keep me in from the, the winter but now that i'm older mm -mm, i want nothing to do with it <laughs> but anyways goodbye guys and we'll talk again soon i might come and do another one i'm loving this i can't wait to share more have a good day